Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the ANFIS system, rather Adaptive Neurofuzzy Inference System. An ANFIS system is a combination of the artificial neural networks and fuzzy logic system. So in an artificial neural network, there are multiple hidden neural layers or even a single, there can be a single hidden layer. There can be an, uh, there is an, uh, definitely an input layer and an output layer. And then in the middle, there is a hidden neural layer. And in a fuzzy system, we know that there happens fuzzification as well as the defuzzification. And in the middle, there is fuzzy inference system where fuzzy logic principles are applied. Now, in an ANFIS architecture, we combine both the things, the artificial neural networks as well as the fuzzy logic. So, the concept of ANFIS system was introduced by Zhang in the early 1990s and it finds the applications in multiple areas such as control systems, pattern recognition, forecasting and decision making. Now, it can also handle the nonlinear relationships and also it integrates the the fuzzy logic into the neural layers when the thing or, or when the human like reasoning is involved okay so we will go in depth of the artificial adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system so here are the basic components of the ANFIS system Basically, it begins with a fuzzy inference system where the fuzzy sets are definitely a part along with the linguistic variables and the fuzzy rules where the rules are uh, decided based on the inference system. They have an inference system and also along with that we have a neural net network architecture. The ANFIS system specifically utilizes a neural network known as the Takagi Susano Kang type neural network and the internal architecture it comprises five layers namely the input layer the falsification layer the rule layer then the normalization layer and then the consequent layer sometimes in many architecture we can also find that this rule layer is clubbed with the normalization layer okay so input layer falsification layer then normalization layer consequent layer and finally another layer called as the defalsification layer is applied separately okay a learning al algorithm is definitely applied we have seen in neural networks there is a uh, the uh, different uh, the algorithms that for example the learning happens through back propagation right so the forward propagation and back propagation happens in a neural network architecture where the loss function is minimized similarly here also the same thing happens with incorporation of the fuzzy layers along with the neuron layers so how is the fuzzy system implemented here the fuzzy system is implemented with the help of membership functions to the activation uh, along with the activation functions okay so this is how a uh, generic ANFIS architecture looks like so here we can see that x and y are the input variables they are passed to an input layer 1 next comes the layer 2 which is the falsification layer next is layer 3 which is the normalization layer then the layer 4 which is the consequent layer and finally the defalsification layer so what we can see from here this layer 1 this is the place where the membership functions are associated with these inputs so what comes to the layer 2 you can see here so if it is mu a1 x 
if mu is the membership function mu a1 is the membership function from this neuron and from this is mu a2 from this is mu b2 and sorry mu b1 and from this is mu b2 so here in the layer 2 you can see there are two neurons right so in this pi this is nothing but the product operation product of what product of this mu a1 x and mu b1 y so these two product the product of these two similarly here we are having the product of mu a2 x and mu b2 y so mu is nothing but the i repeat mu is the membership value okay mu is the membership value which is associated with these inputs respective inputs x and y at these neurons from the new uh, layer 2 we have the fuzzified input we get the fuzzified input so the input that was fed here was nothing but the crisp input and we get a fuzzified output here with which is associated and wet w1 and here w2 okay so here in this normalization layer 3 we have w1 but which is nothing but this associated w1 with how much is w1 associated with this one and how much is it associated with uh, and the association of this the same thing with the one that is evolving from this second neuron okay similarly here w2 bar is associated with this one and this one both w2 parts w2 of this uh, mu a2 x and uh, mu b2 y and w2 of what w2 of this a1 uh, mu a1 x and mu b1 y okay so now next what we have here is here is a function of f1 and here is a function of f2 f2 f1 is nothing but a function of this x y okay so what emanates from here is w1 bar because this was the input here w1 bar f1 of x y similarly here we have w2 bar f2 of x y so this is nothing but the consequent layer so from here we have we have the normalization layer which calculates the normalized firing strength of a rule from previous layer and the consequent layer what it does it represents the consequent part of the fuzzy rule so as we mentioned that features x and y are associated with linear parameters and weights that are trainable okay and finally in layer 5 what happens is a defuzzification defuzzification of the fuzzified input into a crisp output so finally what we can see it is a combination of the neuron layers as well as the fuzzy rules where the fuzzy rule base is present fuzzy membership values are present fuzzification is present and defuzzification is also happening so combination of both the things and hence the name unfis rather adaptive neurofuzzy inference system